All right, to celebrate the LR Blue Fusions coming out on Global, we're going to go ahead and take Blue Vegito and Blue Gogeta together, fully easy aid against the Omega Sharon event. We're going to see how they could do. Uh, this is a team build where we have like a bunch of ushers and stuff like that to help avoid like those AOEs. They should be able to cook here. I think a lot of people think they can't cook here. Maybe they like early on they'll have issues, but we should be fine for the most part, right? Um, we have some pretty nice starting rotations too. Do I have intros on? I might. I do. Alright, so I will push Vegito off rotation here. I think I'll get Gamma 1 all of these orbs. We'll get Piccolo all of these. Vegito, it doesn't matter if he gets his 18 key or his um, 12 key because he stacks regardless. He does get 4 key when he attacks, but I'll just give him this anyways. That should be fine. Luigi's living for the same reason as Gohan. Pycon snuck in here? No, Pycon's gonna be fine. Justin Orange Piccolo Showcase? Look. Okay, you're gonna be satisfied with what you get here. I was thinking about bringing him into Sin. I don't think I did a video with them against Sin together. What if I do... What if I just upload both of those? Yeah, what if... What, what do y'all think, chat? Should I do Omega and them against Sin? Because, again, they're similar, but they're also... Like, in terms of, like, baseline value, right? But the Sin event is a lot shorter. And I think they're actually built better for the Sin event than the Omega event here. But it'll be good to see how much it is. Yeah, it'll be able to show how much harder Omega is. Yeah. Um... I'll probably do both. I'll probably upload the Sin one first. So this is technically a bit going to be recorded before the Sin one, if you saw that one already. And the Omega one will go up after it. Piccolo is really good, yeah. So Vegito, that's a... Did he get triple super right here, I think? Um, again, the more supers he gets, the more attack stacks he's going to get as well. Which is very helpful. Okay. Sweet so far. Um, we'll let Orange Piccolo grab all of this here. Bam. We'll get this with the Gojita Blue. Pycon will debuff. This guy has been debuffed quite a lot at this point. So because of the amount of debuffs that he's received, we, Pycon will be just fine. They are definitely better in Sin. Because like the guaranteed dodge here might not really work out, right? Especially if he's dodging every single attack like this, man. We're not going to get the guaranteed dodge in this specific fight against STR Sin. Um... But that's not the worst thing ever. I guess I could have kept Vegito, but then I could have floated Gogeta Blue to get the turn 5 transformation. Maybe that would have been better, but it's okay. 2 stacks, Gogeta Blue's active goes 19 mil, then 5 stacks, 30 mil. It's crazy effective, yeah. And again, see, Pycon here is able to cook. So that's okay. Oh, Gamma 2. <laughs> Luckily, it's very easy for them to get fully built up here, which is a good thing. So we'll let Gamma 1 grab all these. If I, even if I grab this, the orb won't fall the way I want to necessarily. That's okay. It happens. Alrighty. Uh, Gamma 1 should definitely be fully built up here. Gamma 2 obviously needs to do a couple more attacks, though, but he should be fine. But yeah, there's like there's no way we're going to be able to get to the um, STR phase with the guaranteed evasion again maybe if i stalled by an extra turn there is a there could be a good chance to do that but i kind of like the rotations being set up as they are already i mean if, if omega keeps dodging then it can't really do anything about that right that that's another thing right omega just wants to dodge everything like what am i supposed to do i can't there's nothing i could do um and with gamma too like if he's not critting either right it's, it just it's a snowball kind of effect I could have brought Vegeta and Trunks. Yes, I could have brought him, but it's fine. These rotations would be a lot safer for me overall. Um, maybe if I have to hop in here again, I will bring Vegeta and Trunks. Right, but we should be good here. We'll get the new OST. No, actually, this is the old OSTs. The active skills like got the new OST, right? Oh, you were talking about them? What were you talking about? Superheroes? Inchion. 
Am I crazy? Am I forgetting someone? Superheroes? Please. Please tell me not talking about in pan. And you know that doesn't exist? Oh! Oh! You're being... I'm so used to internet sarcasm that I'm, like, shocked that you were, like, legitimate there. Um... Well... I guess we're just gonna hope. I super would prefer not to do damage damage. Well, Vegito has to get the additional super here. Gogeta only gets his crits. Gogeta's additionals are guaranteed. Vegito needs a 24 key to get another super, which would be important for him to build up. Okay, with all the debuffs, we should, we're should we actually good here, which is helpful here. It's perfect. Yeah, again, it really does suck, this guaranteed dodge. Like, there's not really value for it in this fight a lot of the times. But we'll see. We'll see what happens, right? It depends how the attack patterns are going to be. But these guys are going to be basically fully built up by the time we get to the next phase. Gogeta Blue, maybe not. It depends on if he gets... Okay. Gogeta Blue just got four attacks. And that's actually not good. <laughs> that he got four super attacks like this. Because uh, Vegito is going to get, like, one extra... One attack, right? Especially if he crits. So, yeah, Gogeta, you are really stupid. I hate Gogeta for this right now. <sighs> and Vegeta crit, of course. He only got two attacks. Uh, I might have to, like, legitimately use my, like, Usher or the giant form like this next turn. Not necessarily ideal, but it'll be okay, I guess, right? So we'll grab this here. We'll get this, and then Pycon will get this. We should be cooking here. We could do Gamma 2, could like absolutely destroy this hit, by the way. Like, d d disgusting. This guy should be fine. Yeah, Gamma 1 is very good in this phase. Bird Kubo will return for worldwide. I think so, yeah. You got Kai Goku 55% and a decent amount of stones left. Just go for dupes or stop summoning. I feel like you should save for worldwide at this point, right? We're very close to worldwide. Kai Goku could work at 55% quite well. Um. He should be fine, Kai Goku. I, I I would be more worried about worldwide celebration, for sure. And yeah, again, Birdku would like to return to worldwide, so that should be fine. Uh, again, as long as the attack patterns are fine, like if, if there's no AoEs in slot one or there's not a lot of attacks in slot one, we could put Vegito there, and then Vegito will be able to get fully built up. Like ideally, we get like a situation where like it's just like that one single attack in slot one, and then, like all the AoEs and the attacks in the third slot, where like what Orange Pickle is gonna be. Well, Gabbit too, not really doing all the attacks that he could. Like, well, I mean, like the super attacks. The two normals he got, right? This is the 70% chance one, and then we have the hidden potential. Yeah, dude, look at the damage Gabbit 2 ended up doing. Imagine he did five super attacks. <laughs> That'd be crazy. But uh, it's also good that we didn't kill here, I think, just to get Vegeta Blue extra gold up. <sighs> that damage is crazy. Goodness, man, Gamma 2. Absolutely destroys this. Uh, damaging both fuses combined. In this phase with Hyper Man, he does quite a lot. Pycon with these double supers is pretty powerful. Pycon's good here, by the way. I, I do like Pycon in this fight. He can go. Oh, I mean, he took a lot of damage there, but you know. <laughs> I, 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 I could technically use the active skill. Funny enough, with the blue fusions here. Um. So many times I get instantly supered, but I kind of want to do this grab that grab this here and orange man as long as we don't get instantly super attacked but i mean who knows maybe that just happens ultimately yeah yeah, yeah. i can't really do anything about it <sighs> it's funny man it's so frustrating all right we're back here um we'll just keep going as it is we'll have this piccolo here We'll grab all this. Now, this time, we're going to get the um, the blue fusions to transform in turn 5, which could be good for us in terms of, again, saving it for the STR phase, potentially. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. This Piccolo could potentially do a lot of damage, too, when, he, like, when we get to this next turn. Because he'll be almost fully built up. Unfortunately, my Piccolo, not really going to be the same that we could save for him, but it's fine. 
VB could have active slot three since it's not guaranteed. I mean, I could have done that. Right? There, there's, there's things I could have done. I probably should have just used the active skill. Um, but it's fine. I, I, it's also like 3 a.m. and I'm like not like doing the best plays, admittedly, right? <laughs> we're, we're, we're gonna be just fine here. Um, okay. Cool, cool, cool. And again, so yeah, they're gonna transform turn five here, which I think will be arguably better for me, anyways. Okay. Gamma one right here. Not gonna take a lot before he attacks, but after he attacks, he's gonna be fine. Gamma two will grab this, and then we'll get the support for PyCon plus his great lowering attack, which is gonna be good for us in terms of debuffing. And then next, we can run the blue fusions and keep it together. Dokkan fatigue is real. Mm, I wanna say it's fatigue, I'm just kinda tired. <laughs> I'm having zero super attack, uh, like cooldown for a super attack is a glitch. I wouldn't say it's a glitch, but it's just very annoying, right? <laughs> Let's hope Gamma 2 comes out for us here. If Gamma 2 wants to really show out, we could just absolutely blast this Omega phase before we get to the final part. But we'll see. Orange Piccolo again next turn. He's going to do quite a lot of damage. If he gets a crit, he could absolutely destroy it. Very, very easily, right? But we need Gamma 2 to get crits in and stuff like that, right? I mean, he could, like, Gamma 2 could, like, do five super attacks all crits. I mean, we saw that turn against STR sin. It's absolutely bonkers, right? Okay, there's another super. Nice. So his crit chance is starting to get built up pretty high here, too. That's another thing. You used to have, what, 40% build and chance crit now? Great. Nice. That's helpful. It's like if, if he gets five supers, all crits, like that'll be the score for us. Right? Fraud Matsu. He's not a fraud. Let's chill. Gamma yeah, Matsu's a good. Ouch! You took a lot of damage still, Pycon. That's not ideal. <laughs> um, we should be fine here, though. We'll grab all of this with you. We'll grab all of this with you. And then Orange Magic. We'll grab all of these. Perfect. Okay. We should be good here. I guess the only issue is that, like the friend orange pickle. My orange pickle actually hasn't received any attacks, but it should be okay. All right. It's not a glitch yet. Yeah, no, it'd be more like a misinput maybe. <laughs> only 153k. I mean, usually the boss able to get a lot more debuffs, but it's fine because we couldn't get the 18 keys of piccolos last time, right? It's definitely not a missing play. I feel like if, if it was, they would have likely noticed by now, right? They, ha they have the data and stuff like that. They would have been like, oh, we discovered an issue. This will be fixed in the next you know, in the future update, blah, 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 right? They usually are quick to find stuff out like that. This might do a lot of damage. Ah, uh, yeah. 292. That's okay. Oh, 1.2. Again, I was thinking about running the Dragon Ball Z duo team. Just because we can get bonus support, which might just be more effective for us overall. But I think we definitely do kill that this turn, right? I feel like we have a really good shot at killing here. Grab that. Grab this here. Then Orange Pickle can grab all of this. We'll see. It, it really rides in Gamma 2. And if Gamma 1 doesn't get stunned either, right? If Gamma 1 gets stunned, that hurts the damage we do. Well, there it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, because Ga Gamma 2 could do some... Gamma 1 could actually do some pretty solid damage. He's doing, like, 10, 11 mil attack stats, right? Omega's cooldown wouldn't be crazy, but then it raises normals to the strongest in the event afterwards. Yeah, 600k normals is so disgusting. Okay, Gamma 2, I need you to cook for us here with this 50% crit chance, man. You gotta cook. You need to cook. Absolutely. Two more supers with crits, and we're good. Please, Gamma 2. Gamma 2, please. Gamma 2, you gotta cook. Gamma 2, you gotta cook. Because, again, my orange piccolo is not built up. Right? <laughs> I mean, maybe a brighter play would be to have put orange piccolo on one. Nice. We're good. All right, we got the blue fusions guaranteed dodge here. Really, really good for us. Very, very good. See, this is a, this is a much better situation for them because now they could freely attack in this phase and build up really quickly. Full A is better for for who? Gamma one. Gamma one actually does get thirty percent crit chance built in. Funny enough. Oh, I like how the attack patterns are perfect this time. Great. 
How should I do this? Pycon needs to get his dodges in. That's fine. We'll grab this here. This does bring down orbs down. Gogeta won't get 24 key, but again, Gogeta doesn't have to worry about hitting max key because he only gets the guaranteed crits. He's already super effective. It's Blue Vegito that has to uh, get the 24 key for his additional super. That's the important thing. And Pycon should be fine, unless he just doesn't want to dodge at all. Well, the point of the video is to run them in the same rotation together. They should cook because we have Orange Piccolo, right? I mean, even if Sin does like five attacks in the front slot, that's that's where the issue could be if like Sin wants to like, or Omega wants to like five attacks before the attack. But again, all the floaters will be able to make them immortal. We have Pycon for that reason. We have Orange Piccolo for that reason. And then we have um, the other Orange Piccolo for that reason, right? That's why we're running this team so that we could use them as a rotation. Because, like, on another team, we could have, like, again, that's why I'm thinking, like, the Power Wishes team. Or, like, the Dragon Ball Z Duel team specifically. Maybe better, still. Because we could have GT Duo floating around. We could have Orange Piccolo floating around, right? And it's like, we want to be as covered, though, as this team could be, right? And look at the damage we did here. Very insane. Guarantee dodge. Nothing. Guarantee dodge. Guarantee dodge. Guarantee dodge. Paco should be okay, even if he gets hit all three times. He took a what 125k we would like live we would barely live but we would live actually let's see 200k yeah because that's post raise as long as pycon dodges one of these next attacks oh my are you kidding me pycon <sighs> oh my god pycon i actually hate <laughs> All right, we're back. Um, this time, we do not have the blue fusions really built up like that. Vegito hasn't built up, really. So I'm going to use Orange Piccolo here. I think we can uh, are forced to use it. Unfortunately, I would like not to have used it, but we got to hope that we're going to get better attack patterns. So I'm just going to set things up, and we'll come back once we have Orange Piccolo finished. All right, so this is pretty bad, <laughs> regardless. We might, are we just still dead here, just regardless? Probably we are just dead because there's like five attacks in the front. 80K actually. Yeah, he only does 400K. Okay, that's fine. I do live. Sweet, okay. I unfortunately did have to use the active skill here with Orange Piccolo. I would have liked to not have to use it, but it is what it is. Um, we should be good here. Luckily, this Orange Piccolo won't come back for like, what, five, six turns? I think the event probably will be able to be dead at that point, which is good for us. Thumbs up, right? And now they're cooking, right? Vegito is going to be able to fully build up here. Because, again, you have to keep in mind, they do have to specifically... Um, they you only have to get attacks to build up, right? But Vegito hasn't really been able to get all the attacks that he could potentially get, right? But now Vegito is going to start cooking really, really well here. Did we might actually kill this turn. Do we kill here potentially? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's pretty disgusting. What team am I running? I am running the... Uh... Oof, goodness, that's insane. Do I just use Pike on here? I think I am going to use Pycon here, actually. Um, let's just not even worry about this. Dude, Sin got absolutely obliterated. <laughs> I'll bring this down. Usher, Orange, Blusion actives. True. Um, Gap, well, are we even going to be able to do that damage to get him under 50%? It, it depends. Gamma 2, I feel like triple supers, triple crits. That'll help well quite a lot here. But it, it depends. Again, this guy is really tanky. So I'm not sure if we can get him under 50%. Gammas are really good together. Double super. Nice. Again, you have a 50% chance to crit, buddy. Let's see. You can't do five supers anymore. You can only do three supers, right? Okay. Yeah, see. Mm, no, there's, there's no chance Orange Piccolo gets him under 50%. Unless, unless he does like his max supers and crits in every single one. It's zero chance. It, 
I think I'm actually going to grab this to heal. We'll grab this to heal. And then I'll use Orange Piccolo anyways. That should be fine. Because I, I have my doubts that we're going to be able to get him under that HP threshold. Especially with how the key is right here. No way. No way. Alright, we're back here. Um, attack patterns are fine. I guess I'll... Well... I'll have to grab these... I'll have to grab the attack orbs with Gogeta. And the SDRs with Vegito, funny enough. But that should be good. Godot can attack with Gogeta, too. I don't think I'm probably... I don't think I'm going to get the token attack, though. I think I'll um, skip out on it. Oh, that's a 5 dodge. Funny enough. Okay. Um, I do want to try and get the active skills. That's why. So, I'm going to not use the Dokkan attack so I can get the active skills. And that would be really good. Yeah, I mean, Orange Piccolo is active. Like, when it came out, I was like, oh, it's so cool. But now it's like, we're like, eight months from it. And it's kind of like, oh, it's kind of boring, right? <laughs> uh, Orange Piccolo is seven months old, actually. Um, I said eight, but like, he came out the end of December, technically. And it's the beginning of August. So now he's under 50%. <laughs> as long as Gamma 2 doesn't get tagged at the super attack, we should be fine next turn. Vegito, it depends on how many like, supers he wants to get off. He could be a gamer, or he could just like now. The issue, I had to use the other orange piccolo that's on the other uh, turn, his active skill, right? One bar at max and risk limited attacks. Yeah, In instant pop. That's fair enough, I, I see what you mean. But it's so valuable because you just get all these attacks extra in without having to worry about dying at all, right? I mean, Vegito's tanking Omega's normals quite well, right? <laughs> That's a good thing. Oh, let's see if Omega's fight sounds like a Dark Souls fight. It is pretty good, let This Piccolo actually has his full passive, funny enough. As long as Gamma 1 eats the super, we should be fine. We'll grab that, and then we'll give Orange Piccolo this here. This will be fine. And again, since it's under fifty percent, we should be good. The super right here, I would have liked to super attack first, but that's okay. Vegeta will not get me killed. We're gonna be fine. We have got the active skills next turn. That's quite a lot of damage. Uh, but we have we have like what six hundred, like fifty k HP or something. I think so. Gamma 2 is going to learn this. Look, he's going to dodge this attack right here. Watch. Gamma 2, easy dodge. Oh, 39k too. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, super fine. Gamma 2 dead. Pfft. Nope. Gamma 2 live. Gamma 2 W, in my opinion. But yeah, we get the active skills now. And we're going to be god Um, Pycon could not dodge, but whatever. So uh, I think the more the, the overall point is that the blue fusions could still work here, but they kind of have to be protected, right? Unlike a fight like Sin. Again, Sin the Sin recording should be out before this one, um, because technically this will be a harder stage for them, so it'd be better to show them off in Sin. But um, that's one thing we want to consider. Yeah, and now you're gonna super attack. You're gonna be fine. Yeah, Gamma too. He was able to eat that Omega super pretty well, which is nice. What? What do you mean what? What? Like, what do you mean what? Alright, active skills. Yummy. We'll go ahead and use Vegito's first, because I think Gogeta might just straight up kill. Well, it's Vegito's, might not even kill. Because of his type advantage. Disadvantage, I mean. So, no, me,
Yeah, they're good. Uh, we do love the blue fusions here. I will end on this beautiful Gilgito blue chaos screen. Let me know what you guys think about the blue fusions. And that's pretty sick. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.